Thank you for joining us. I am James Armistead Lafayette. In 1781, I was pressed into service under the Marquis de Lafayette, who was leading Patriot forces against Lord Cornwallis's army in Virginia. I infiltrated the British army as a servant for Cornwallis and reported to Lafayette that Cornwallis moved British forces from Portsmouth to Yorktown. Valuable intelligence that helped pave the way for the siege of Yorktown that effectively ended the war. In 1787, the Virginia Assembly granted me freedom for this courageous contribution. I added Lafayette to my name to honor the French general for whom I spy. I'm Stephen Seals, and stories like this are formative and powerful. The nation's origin story happened in and around Williamsburg, and many of these events led us to revolution. In fact, the revolution is here today. Through our fact-based research, world-class archaeology and interpretation, and sites that share the many stories of America. The opportunity to invest in Colonial Williamsburg's educational mission has never been greater. Our time to maximize our contribution to the nation is now. And this is why we are launching The Power of Place, the centennial campaign for Colonial Williamsburg. Let me take you on a journey. Just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it has already been discovered. That's why we are engaging in the most active period of discovery in the historic area since the 1960s. Hello, I'm Ron Hurst, Chief Mission Officer and Senior Vice President for Education and Historic Resources. Through the campaign, we're dedicating ourselves to preserving buildings, grounds, and experiences that have been our treasured assets for generations while also exploring new projects that expand our knowledge of the people and the events leading to the revolution and beyond. The power of place is evident across Williamsburg, where our 301 acres and more than 600 restored or reconstructed buildings set the stage for exploration and discovery. Only 20% of the historic area has been carefully excavated and our archaeologists are devoted to uncovering the past while our interpreters use their findings to inform their research and the stories we share. Despite nearly 100 years of investigation, we're making amazing discoveries every day. The campaign will ensure we continue this work to the highest standard and open the doors to the Foundation's next century in 2026. Our archaeologists and architectural historians are actively engaged in investigations that shape our understanding of the past and how it applies to the present and our future. Hello, I'm Meredith Poole, and I am the senior archaeologist at the Foundation. And I'm Jen Wilkowski, architectural historian. We are unearthing incredible numbers of artifacts leading to exciting new discoveries. At Custis Square, we're learning about the elaborate gardens designed by John Custis and about the people who lived and worked there, including the enslaved. A block away, discovery of the original foundations of the historic First Baptist Church, along with 62 associated burials, has strengthened our ties with the local community. This work has made headlines in major publications in the United States and abroad, allowing us to reach new audiences with stories of our past. These sites and the knowledge that they hold are why we are building the Campbell Archaeology Center, a state-of-the-art facility for archaeologists and a place where our guests can learn through hands-on experiences. No organization is like Colonial Williamsburg, the largest American history museum. Here we research and maintain more than 600 restored or reconstructed buildings, bringing the 18th century alive for guests. This place has stories to tell, and often they are only revealed when we look deeper into their history. We have discovered previously unknown and significant details about the powder magazine, which we are restoring for the 250th anniversary of the gunpowder incident in 2025. In the Williamsburg Bray School, we discovered the original floors, chair rail moldings, and fireplaces that have been covered during the 20th century building renovations. When completed in fall 2024, the building will be a window into the lives of the enslaved and free black children who attended the school in the 18th century. History has many layers, and as we peel each one back, we learn more about the past and ourselves. Discoveries through archeological and architectural research provide important details necessary for historic authenticity 
and while they help us understand physical structures, some of which are still standing, they also help us understand the people, plants, and animals of our past. Our Rare Breeds Program researches animals of the 18th century. Our Historic Trades Program preserves tools and techniques used for centuries to create goods or sustain families. Often they intersect, providing opportunities to discover how animals and colonists worked together. Hello, I'm Andre Jeter, Director of Coaching Livestock. And I'm Ed Schultz, Master Farmer for Colonial Williamsburg. Many people may not know that Colonial Williamsburg is the largest breeder of Cleveland Bay horses in North America. They may not know that for more than 40 years, our rare breed program have highlighted the roles of animals played in the story of the early American and 18th century Williamsburg. They will know when we reconstruct the Randolph stables, a home base for this program in the historic area. Their guests will come to be introduced to these remarkable animals and meet our expert staff who care for them. They can learn how our interpreters work and interact with them to make them part of so much of what we do today. Our animals do not speak, but oftentimes said they know more of what it's like in Williamsburg than anyone else. In 18th century Virginia, more than 90% of colonists were farmers. Crops such as tobacco were a means for a living, while corn was a main food source. Farming provided both financial stability and sustenance, making it an ideal profession for the masses. Yet much of this work was done by enslaved people. Most of us can find farmers somewhere in our history and can relate directly to the work done here at Ewing Field. Here we engage in experimental archeology span where we do as they would have done to learn about farming techniques and how Europeans were influenced by African and indigenous practices. Guests have opportunities to put their hands in the soil, connecting with the past in real tangible ways. Hello. I'm Fallon Berner, Colonial Williamsburg's Indigenous Historian and one of the managers of the American Indian Initiative. Research informs everything that we do, from on-site guest interactions at our encampment site and throughout the historic area, to virtual programs and informative blogs. We are building on the Foundation's commitment to telling more inclusive stories. At the American Indian Initiative, authenticity grounds the history we present and fuels our educational mission. We know that Indigenous peoples were part of everyday Williamsburg and we're proud to present the long forgotten histories of many different native nations throughout Virginia and the Eastern Woodlands who were present in the 18th century capital city. Time is of the essence as we rapidly pursue ambitious opportunities that are leading to 2026 and beyond. Through the campaign, we are investing like never before in our research core, enhancing our reputation as one of the nation's most trusted institutions. We hope that the future may learn from the past and honor the contributions of Indigenous peoples who are still here today. Hello, I'm Mia Nagawicki, Vice President for Education Strategy and Civic Engagement. For nearly 100 years, Colonial Williamsburg has engaged generations of Americans in the triumphs and tragedies of our shared history. For 35 years, our Bob and Marion Wilson Teacher Institute has impacted thousands of teachers and millions of students across the country and around the world. And today, our ability to make a difference is more urgently needed than ever. That's why we're creating the world's largest virtual American history museum. Our Innovation Studios initiative, now home to the incredibly popular Ben Franklin's World podcast, is where we are creating new digital content that will engage a broad cross-section of people with America's enduring story. We're entering strategic partnerships like those with iCivics, which will allow us to reach millions of students with online games that make the process of learning history fun and engaging. And we're building a new history.org for our nation's teachers and students, where we will root in one place history and civics content from Colonial Williamsburg and other trusted museums and education organizations. Few places inspire people like Colonial Williamsburg. The many lessons only we can provide are why we are a center of education for the country, a place where Americans can go to learn about our complex history and America's revolutionary and enduring contribution to the world, democracy. These ambitious projects will make a real, positive difference in our nation, and we thank you for the support you provide that makes them possible. 
Research also plays a critical role in informing the programs we create and present. Hello, I'm Beth Kelly, Vice President for Research, Training, and Program Design. And I'm Gary Samling, Vice President for Historic Area Operations. This place has power because of the people who bring 18th century Williamsburg to life. To tell in-depth stories based on factual accounts, our interpretive core goes through an extensive training process to ensure engaging, authentic dialogue with our guest, bringing them into the discovery process. Interpreters include our historic tradespeople, nation builders and actors, site interpreters, and many others. Our interpreters complete National Association for Interpretive Training requirements to become certified interpretive guides. Whether you're learning about well-known founders like Thomas Jefferson, or lesser known, yet highly influential people from the past like Jane Vogue, our staff has been trained to the highest standard. At the core of our work is our mission. We are dedicated to preparing staff to share the never-ending discoveries we are making, such as at First Baptist Church and the Williamsburg Bray School. By building this engaging learning environment, we are inspiring current and future generations through voices that have long been silent. Our staff have an unparalleled passion for learning and then sharing their knowledge with our guests. Through the campaign, we are investing in the people who perform our two dozen historic trades, some of which Colonial Williamsburg has saved from being lost to time, including wheelwrights, brick making, gunsmithing, carpentry, and so much more. We are also dedicated to providing engaging, authentic performances at many venues in the historic area, as well as through our digital programming, providing formative experiences that fulfill our mission. There's always something new to learn in places Colonial Williamsburg is well known for, like the Raleigh Tavern, Capitol, Governor's Palace, and Magazine, and its sites that are enhancing our ability to tell a more inclusive, complete story of 18th century Williamsburg, like the American Indian Encampment, Historic First Baptist Church, the Williamsburg Bray School, and Custis Square. It's an exciting time for Williamsburg, and the Power of Place campaign will ensure that our treasures are shared with the nation and the world. That's what we mean when we say the revolution is here. It's here in Williamsburg, where you can engage with the likes of Mr. Jefferson. Or the inestimable Mrs. Washington. Where you can discuss the issues of our time or yours. Where we can talk about the founding of the country as we knew it, or discuss the issues that we're still facing today. Where you can become a part of this country's story. And engage in civic conversation. Whether it be about the benefits of a strong federal government. Or the correct choice of a healthier system of states' rights. Well. Whatever your opinion on government, in Williamsburg, we welcome civil conversation. Right, Mr. Jefferson? Always, Mrs. Washington. Welcome to Williamsburg. My name's Catherine Pittman. I'm a nation builder portraying Martha Washington. And my name is Kurt Smith. I'm a nation builder portraying Thomas Jefferson. Our efforts today are to preserve Colonial Williamsburg, to invest in our educational mission and its impact, and to break through with critical lessons that make an indelible imprint on the nation at a time when they need us the most. This is our opportunity, and time is of the essence. Hello, I'm Carly Fiorina, Chair of the Colonial Williamsburg Board of Trustees. And I'm Cliff Fleet, President and CEO of Colonial Williamsburg. This ambitious effort to raise $600 million for Colonial Williamsburg's preservation, education, and civic engagement opportunities will ensure that the Foundation's many treasures are accessible by anyone, anywhere, so that we all can be informed about our nation's history and how it applies to our present lives as well as our futures. The Power of Place campaign will allow us to achieve our many goals and dreams leading up to 2026 and beyond. The 250th anniversary of the nation and Colonial Williamsburg's centennial. Our time is now. Success depends upon all of us to be involved so that we can make the greatest impact possible. Together, we're writing Colonial Williamsburg's next chapter, one that promises to be its most powerful yet. The revolution, revolution is, is here. here. We're thrilled to be on this journey together with you.